Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Wrestling Talk Show here on YouTube.com. Welcome to today's show. Today's wrestling topic, guys, is Drew Galloway returning to the WWE. His TNA contract is expiring in January. This is Wrestling Talk Show's Creative Conversation, episode number 69. We're on 60 full episodes, and today is number 60. Number 60, guys, we have hit number 60. 60 full episodes on this very show. So, ladies and gentlemen, today's wrestling topic is on Drew Galloway. Star in the UK, despite only being in his early 20s at the time, Drew Galloway signed a deal with WWE in 2006, debuting full time on the main roster in 2009 under the name Drew McIntyre, built as the chosen one. The Scotman was hyped on air as a personal favorite of WWE Chairman Vince McMahon and a future world champion. You know, ladies and gentlemen, when... He first signed with the WWE in 2006, and he had that Drew McIntyre. He was named as Drew McIntyre. And they, you know, Vince said, well, he's the chosen one. That's going to be my world champion. That's what he is going to be in the future working for this company. And he had held the Intercontinental title. Fairly early on his main roster run. It was too early. You know, Drew McIntyre got that push too early as an Intercontinental Champion. In my opinion, the guy wasn't ready for it. He was still fresh. He was still green. The guy still had a lot of work to do. He really had to improve on his mic skills, his ring performance, and everything. The guy just was not ready to be an Intercontinental Champion already. But Vince loved him. Vince liked him. The problem is that Vince McMahon likes to push people really quick, really fast. If you're big and you're muscular, you know Vince McMahon is going to push you. Vince McMahon says, I like you. I'm going to give you a huge push early. And you're going to get it. And fans like us, we know that you can't be pushing superstars that quick. They don't deserve it right off the bat. Drew McIntyre, as he was still known and regulated to lower card status in 2011, and placed in the stable 3MB. First off, you have him as Drew McIntyre. He is an intercontinental champion. And then Vince McMahon merely says that he is the chosen one. You're the chosen one. You're going to be a world champion. You ruined Drew McIntyre. That guy could have became a huge star. He was really getting good too as that character, as Drew McIntyre. All right? He was really doing good after a while. I was really starting to get interested in him now. He was doing good. I love Drew McIntyre. At the time when he came in, you know, I just felt like, you know, him being an Intercontinental Champion was just too soon for him. It was too soon for him to have it. You know, and they do push their superstars very quick. WWE does that crap. They push their superstars. And you know Vince McMahon is behind all that too. But I loved him. You know, Vince McMahon says he's the chosen one. Well, they ruined him. They didn't push him. They didn't do nothing with him. Yeah, he became Intercontinental Champion. But they could have done... 
so much better for this guy. This guy did have talent. He was a talented superstar. And they ruined him. You ruined him. But then you go and say, well, you know, he's the chosen one. Okay, well, if he's the chosen one, how come you ruined him? You didn't do nothing with him. And then they team up with the whole 3MB thing. You know, they completely ruined Drew McIntyre when he was in the WWE. They ruined him. The guy could have became a future world champion. And they didn't do that with him. He didn't get that opportunity. He never became a world champion. Okay. Now the whole 3MB thing with Jinder Mahal, Drew, Gra Drew Galloway, which is, you know, Drew McIntyre, and Heath Slater. Now, this completely ruined Drew McIntyre big time. This, I mean, they're a bunch of jobbers. You know, they weren't going nowhere. And they've been doing this for a long time. It started in 2012. That's when it started. And it finally ended, you know, by, 20, by 2014. Because in 2015, you know, you know, Jin, not Jinder Mahal, Drew Galloway would go to Teen A Impact Wrestling. And I, I've been hearing nothing but great things about him over there. He's doing good over there. He's been champions over there. The guy is happy where he is. That's why, you know, I don't think he's going to go to WWE. I don't think he'll go back. Because if he goes back, will he get treated good? Will he get used right? I mean, if I did want him to come back to WWE, then... I would bring him to SmackDown Live. And the reason why, I know everybody says, you always, all these superstars, you always want them to go to SmackDown Live. Why do you always want these Smack these talents to go to SmackDown Live and not Raw? The fact of the matter is, the reason why I don't want, I want Drew, I want Drew Galloway to go to SmackDown Live because he will get used better. He will get treated better. They're going to book him good. Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon would know what to do with Drew Galloway if you put him on SmackDown Live. The creative team is better over there. You put him on Raw, it's going to be the same crap. And I don't. And if he does come back to WWE, I don't want to see 3MB back again. I don't want to see that. They were a bunch of jobbers. None of them were going nowhere. It was ruining Drew Galloway's career big time. The guy could have became a huge star in this company, and they decided to ruin him, which, you know, if you say you're the chosen one, you're supposed to actually back your words up, Vince, and you didn't. You ruined him. And he became a better star in TNA Impact Wrestling. Everybody who went who who worked for WWE are doing way better in T, were doing way better when they were in TNA Impact Wrestling. A lot of them were. Not all of them, but a lot of them did. Like Matt Hardy. Okay? TNA Impact Wrestling. He has the broken Matt Hardy character and it's blowing up. Him and Jeff Hardy are blowing up in TNA right now. His character is blowing up. It's so popular. People use the hashtag Brother Nero or Deleted, you know, on their Twitter pages. People are over with the Matt Hardy character. Broken Matt Hardy is over in TNA Impact Wrestling. Okay, they ran its course. 3MB ran its course. And every week, man, I got sick and tired of that group. 3MB. Slater. It was ruining Slater big time. You know, and then when, you know, Slater got went to SmackDown Live, he teamed up with Rhino. I'm like, this is a good opportunity for him. And he succeeded with Rhino. They were over. Not as more not as over as, you know, the New Day. The New Day was the most popular in WWE right now. But Rhino and he Slater were over as well. And, you know, Slater was doing so good. And, you know, him and Rhino were doing good as WWE Tag Team Champions. You know, Heat Slater, man, they really made his career really good when he went to SmackDown Live. His career was getting really good. And it, and it, and it was good for him because I was happy for him. He deserved it because, you know, ever since he's been in the WWE with the Nexus, the core, and 3MB, man, they completely ruined Heat Slater. 
But when he teamed up with Rhino and became the WWE Tag Team Champions and signed that contract, I was so happy for him because they were using him right. They were booking him right. They knew that Slater had talent. But WWE and Raw didn't do nothing with him. They ruined him. They didn't know what to do with this guy. Now, Galloway admitted that his TNA deal is indeed due to expire in a few months and that he's considering some offers, including those from TNA. He also brought up the neck injury he suffered early this year, which took him out of the company's Bound for Glory pay-per-view in October, as SE Scoops noted. Now, as the now as WWE is hoping to add it to its roster in the light of the upcoming United Kingdom tournament, Wrestling News that CO said that it would be plausible if Drew Galloway returns to WWE to beef up the company's UK roster. But Tablishan cited, cited Galloway's further comments from the Dirt Sheets podcast as Scott still does want to be locked down, doesn't want to be locked down to a contract that he wouldn't that wouldn't allow him to work independent shows. Now Galloway also declined to name the companies that have been offering him deals as he remains under contract with TNA. Okay, so his contract ends in January. That's when it ends. That's when he's done with the company for ex for the contract. Will he sign with TNA? Will like will he resign with them? You know, in my opinion, you know, he he said he's doing good over there with the company and he's happy where he is. Look at Matt Hardy. Matt Broken Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy are happy in TNA Impact Wrestling. He's happy over there. He likes being there. He's working like a part-time schedule, but he loves it. You know, and I understand that. I respect that with Matt Hardy. And I say the same thing to Drew Galloway. I think he should stay in TNA Impact Wrestling. If he's happy over there, man, let him stay over there. Because if you bring him to WWE, I really don't think they would. I don't know. Does he really want to work a full-time schedule? Or does he want to work a part-time schedule with the WWE? If he does want to come back. You know, so in my opinion, I would love to see him back in WWE. Don't get me wrong. I want him back in WWE because there's great feuds that he can work with, with SmackDown Live. But in my honest opinion, I would let him stay in TNA Impact Wrestling. But it's up to him. It's up to what he wants to do with his life, his future, and for money. Does he want to go to WWE? You know, and work a full-time schedule or a part-time schedule. Or does he want to stay in TNA Impact Wrestling? You know, like Matt, like Matt Hardy is. You know, does he want to be like Matt Hardy? You know, that he's happy over there. He wants to stay there. It's all up to what he wants to do. But you guys let me know in the comments below. Do you want him to come back? If his contract expires in January, would you want to see... Drew Galloway back in the WWE. You let me know in the comments below. I want your thoughts and I want your opinions, guys. Until then, thank you for tuning in to Wrestling Talk Show's Creative Conversation, episode number 60, guys. We're almost at 100 full episodes. And 2017's around the corner. And we're doing good, guys. So I want to thank you for all the support. If you're new to the channel, click that red subscribe button. Also, click the red bell above you. And also, follow me on Twitter, at the Talk Show 101 The link will be in the description for you guys below. Articles below as well. Until then, guys, click that, hit that like button for me. You know what that little thumbs up button is? Click that thumbs up. Let's get 20 to 30 likes, guys, on this episode number 60. Until then, guys, I'll see you later. Subscribe.